I've wanted to learn how to time-lapse plants for a while now, but I always just assumed it would be either complicated or really expensive, so I held off. The other day, however, I came across a video on YouTube where a man showed how he time-lapsed his plants, and it wasn't nearly as complicated as I expected it to be, and I had most of the equipment that I needed already. The most important parts being a camera, tripod, and intervalometer, which I bought a couple years ago to time-lapse the night sky, and the fireflies. The only thing I needed to get started was a grow light on a stand to ensure I had consistent lighting on my subject. Because most of my garden is planted in containers, I was able to bring my subjects inside so I could have more control over the photo session. I grabbed my delphiniums, set up my light, camera, and intervalometer, and I took my first time lapse. It was so exciting! The problem I ran across was my camera's battery, so I ordered an AC adapter online. Before the adapter arrived, however, I did two more time-lapse sessions. A quick session with my prayer plant, because I know she moves a lot, and then another session with my very thirsty delphiniums, because I wanted to capture the plant being refreshed after a much-needed drink of water. After those sessions, I realized I needed a second grow light in order to better light my photos, so I ordered another one. And then I wanted a black background to help the flowers really stand out, so I found this cut-up curtain at the thrift store, washed it, ironed it, cut off the wings, and mounted it on the wall. What a difference it made. I recorded my bee bomb first, and then upgraded to one of my dahlias. I had my camera going for 104 hours to capture this six second clip. I also learned after the fact that I should have adjusted the camera upward as the dahlia grew because it almost went out of the frame. At least I now know that trick for next time because I'm going to be time lapsing all summer long. <laughs> 